Back to Bay Sunday, a special treat this morning. CBS 5 reporter Joe Vasquez sat down with Rita Moreno to talk about her show at the Berkeley Rep Theater and her amazing life. Let's take a look. She's one of the few to have won all the big prizes. Oscar, Tony, Grammy, Emmy, actually two Emmys. Where other cultures believe in restraint and self-control, we believe in the principle of constant combustibility. <laughs> now, Rita Moreno is back on stage at the Berkeley Repertory Theater with a show called Life Without Makeup. It's her own story. What a role you get to play a legendary actress. <laughs> I know, isn't that thrilling? <laughs> I actually get to play Rita Moreno. It's fun. I'm having a wonderful, I'm having the time of my life. In the show, she relates how she came to America from Puerto Rico at the age of five, went to Hollywood at the age of 17, and played standout roles in Singing in the Rain and The King and I. She also tells of a real-life role in a longtime relationship with the notoriously vain Marlon Brando. You loved him almost as much as he loved himself. Right, but not quite as much. <laughs> but it wasn't all glamour. More often than not, Rita Moreno was cast as what she calls a utility ethnic. I played a lot of Senorita Lolita, Conchita kind of roles. You know, I had to talk like this all the time. Let it sink back in the ocean. And then there was the role of a lifetime, Anita from West Side Story. Oh, I think Anita was one of the, the great roles in, in movie musicals. I like the island Manhattan. I know you do. Smoke on your pipe and put that in. The one that won her the Academy Award in 1962 for Best Supporting Actress. I, I could barely believe it, really. This little Puerto Rican girl winning an Oscar. Yeah, Unbelievable. You. you can hold it. Whoa. Still, even one of the greatest films of all times had its groan-inducing moments off-screen, like the way the Puerto Ricans were all forced to look alike. We were required to wear a uniform color makeup, and it was quite dark. And, you know, we were all colors, as Latinos tend to be. Especially Puerto Ricans tend to be. Yeah, yeah we really so are, because we have Spanish blood as well. African blood. And, and everything. Yeah. We are everything. Indian. And uh, we had to wear makeup that was all one color. We all had to have an accent. And uh, I have to say, I really resented that at the time. And I remember asking the makeup man, the, the head of makeup, why do we all have to be one color? Why can't uh, we have makeup that matches our skin tones? And he immediately assumed that I was, not only did not want to be a Latina, I was a racist. That you were Please. a racist. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Yeah, the world is topsy-turvy in show business sometimes. The movie, uh, it, was, it was about a lot of things. It was about Romeo and Juliet. It was about gang members. It was... Um, Essentially, it, the really movie was about the damage that hatred can cause, that racial hatred can cause. That's really what it's about. And as such, by uh, embodying real people, you would hope that the message would get across that it's wrong. But to this day, we're dealing with this very same issue of immigration and racial hatred. What goes through your mind that here we are? In the uh, well, what peace? goes through my mind is simple. It's, oh, boy, will this never end. And it's certainly not in my lifetime, it won't. Um, and it isn't just about Hispanics, either. I mean, we, we are in the forefront now because we are getting bigger and bigger in terms of numbers. But uh, it's still alive. Well, Latinos are here, but not to the extent that we're here. No, exa exactly. You know, the, as Ricardo Montalbán said it best. He said the door is ajar, and uh, you really have to push very hard to get through that door. Interestingly enough, someone like Jennifer Lopez, who is very Latina uh, in her demeanor and at everything else, is allowed now to make movies where she can play a Latina, but one who doesn't have an accent. And this is a very different thing. Although, not too long ago, she's a maid in Manhattan. She's... Yeah, but that, that was her choice. She She's a big star. She made that choice. Rita Moreno blazed that trail over six decades on stage and screen. Isn't that beautiful? She continues to rake in awards, but none more important than her own dignity. I think I represent to the Hispanic community, as, as well as the English-speaking community, a sense of perseverance 
and uh, the inability to give up. She's still on TV, a regular on the TV Land Network playing, of all things, a Jewish matron, mother to Fran Drescher on a sitcom called Happily Divorced. Doing something on her own is a big thing for a woman of her generation. What do you mean, my generation? <laughs> Perhaps what is most marvelous is the fact that Moreno is still charging forward, performing for more than two hours a night as she nears 80 years old. So it's been great fun. And you're and we're dancing at 79. <laughs> and you're climbing stairs. <laughs> I'm worried about you out there. I, well, I think that that fire escape steps worry people a lot yeah. because I very gingerly go up and down it. Are you going to take it to New York? We would like to, but you know, we're really keeping that in abeyance because I think the, the show needs more work. Mm. It needs refining. And I can just uh, see that New York audience, especially the, the Puerto Rican. You city. think? There's not a lot of Puerto Ricans <laughs> here, you know? I, I think there's, That's there's true. People but there's a lot of Latinos here who are not showing up, and it just breaks my heart. We gotta get Maybe we can help to remind them. Rita Moreno, Life Without Makeup, and What a Life. The show runs through the first week of November. Joe Vasquez, CBS 5. Great stuff. She's going to be 80 on December 11th. Can you believe it? And by the way, the 50th anniversary for West Side Story is this month. Rita Moreno, got to check it out. If you'd like more information on Rita Moreno and her play, Life Without Makeup, log on to the uh, berkeleyrep.org. We'll be back.